the final chance, the final chance to make the chase in NASCAR Heat Evolution, at least for the first season. Now, this is short track racing. What is up, guys? David Land here from Richmond International Raceway, and we are trying to get our way in the chase. We did what we needed to do at the last race at Darlington, got up into the top 30 in points, and now it's just up to a victory. So right now we are qualifying, and what we have to do is qualify on the pole, hopefully lead every lap, and uh, bring home a big W here at Richmond. And I'm not doing too well here on a on an open track for myself because uh, I locked up the brakes uh, going into the corner. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Uh, if I can run, run a low 22 second lap, I think that will be good enough at least for round one here to be able to advance up into the uh, top half of the field at least. I don't remember how well I did here. I probably should have rewatched my uh, Richmond race. I think this is where my rivalry began with Kurt Busch. Of course, I was running very well in uh, that race until uh, Kurt Busch uh, crashed me, I think, in lap traffic. I think I was chasing him down and uh, something like that happened, but uh, not quite like that. So let's see if we can't uh, run one more lap here in round one and see if we can improve our lap times. Uh, that was a 23. Let's see, lift off the gas and on the brakes just a little bit. I don't know if that was terribly good. Let's see if we can go into three and four a little bit better. We've got a little bit of that stepping out of the rear end and across the line. Uh, yeah, it was better. So let's sim the AI results. 17th should have advanced, and we did. So let's move on to round two. All right, round two is off to a smashing start. I'm getting pushed by a beer wagon across the line to improve to a 22.2. Do a little beating and banging with uh, Brad Keselowski there. And he got me on the apron, so that's not going to work. Uh, where are we placed right now? Third, so I say sim it now so they don't have a chance to really knock me down. And P11, does that mean we advance? I can't remember. Yes, advance to session three, so let's see if we can put this car on the pole. All right, here we are for round three. What I really need is a high 21, and I'm just not there yet. I'm still in the 22s. Let's see what we can get on this lap here. The car gets down into the groove fairly well off of the corner. Pretty good. Let's see what this lap holds. See if, how well we can get into three and four. Pretty good. Get off the corner. You can see the guys ahead of us aren't pulling away too much. There you go, an improvement. We're still not in the 21s though. But I'm getting there. Might be able to run it on this lap depending on how well the car handles, which was not very well at all. Bouncing off the wall. But depending on how fast I went through that, well, that, I just blew this lap. Uh, P8 right now. It's a pretty good. We've improved our position every session, though. Went from 17th to 11th, and now 8th. Yeah, that ain't working off of turn 2. I'm just going to sim it. Screw it. The pole position ain't going to happen. And we will qualify 8th. So we're going to roll off 8th. Seven cars to pass here at Richmond. Can we do it and get into the chase? Hello everyone and welcome to NASCAR on NBC. This is Rick Allen and we're here at Richmond International Raceway for the Federated Auto Parts 400. Today we make our final stop at Richmond, our last stop before the chase for the Sprint Cup. Only 16 drivers will advance to Chicagoland with a chance to be the champion. Who will those final 16 be? Let's go find out. All right, so here we go. The race is going green. Green is out. And we got a good start. 100 laps to settle this thing. And three wide. And we spin Kyle Busch out. And Carl Edwards takes the lead. Darn. Well, I was going for the lead there. And now we've lost a ton of positions. I'm going to be incredibly aggressive. I realized that Bristol... That's what you need to do. So I almost spun out Harvick. I think he's solidly in the chase. I think all these people are solidly in the chase Hang ahead up. of me. Still there. Possibly Clear Boyer's not, but whatever. I guess they finally patched uh, Keselowski's AI to work properly. Oop. 
All right, we'll just run Dale Jr. really hard into turn number three. Now we'll oh, get wide there as well, allowing uh, Logano and Hamlin underneath. Now Ryan Newman going around the outside. And we'll just run into the back of Dale Jr., use him as a break, whatever. There's Kurt Busch. Can't not, uh, don't want to play nice with him, and I don't. Oh, we're just going to spin everybody out, aren't we? It's fine with me, whatever. Gave me a little bit of breathing room so I can actually focus on trying to pass somebody rather than just block into the corner. Drive in very deep and run right behind Clint. Now we're, we were three wide for just a split second. And run into Clint and spin on the apron. And Junior's spinning. He's spinning, still spinning, and we get a yellow, thank goodness. Uh, and I'm going to stay out. All right, so coming back to the green. Hopefully I get the start of my life like I did on the initial start. Race is back on. And we're racing again at Michigan. Or Michigan, Richmond. Richmond. How did I get Michigan out of that? Out of Richmond, but whatever. More spinning. More crashing. Spin them all out. Wreck everybody. That's probably going to be another yellow, but then again. Yeah. And we're right back where we started. I'm gonna itchy arm my way into the lead here. I've got the four guys who almost always win in NASCAR ahead of me. Green is out. Let's see if we can get around all of them by turn number one. A sloppy start, 86 laps to go. And into the lead I go. How long is it gonna last? Not very long. Keselowski goes underneath me. Now here comes Edwards as well. He's trying to get around. We're going to try, try to go around the outside of him. Not going to work. We're going to lose out to Kurt Busch as well. And Kevin Harvick. Well, it was in the lead for just a split second. Oh, on the apron. And we're spinning again. We are spinning again. Uh, this time, no yellow. And now we're in deep trouble. Oh, now we get a yellow. Um, uh, should I pit? Should I pit? Should I pit? Should I pit? Nope, still not going to pit, even though I'm way behind. No, you know what? I am going to pit. All right, so we're restarting the race in 36th position. Uh, this time I'll try not to spin spin my way to the front here. Green's out because it uh, benefits me directly. Oh. Okay, got spun out by Regan Smith. Almost. I'm almost getting spun out by A.J. Allmendinger. And I should use the high line. I think I used the high line the last time I was here. That's what I'm going to start doing. If I can get to the high line. I'm going to start to use it. Well, I'm glad I didn't get a penalty there. That was four wide in Richmond. Okay. So, swing outside. Especially in the traffic here. Let's see if this works. Uh, did we gain anything? Maybe a position. Better than not gaining a position, I suppose, or spinning someone out and just bringing in a random yellow for no reason. At least we're getting yellows. That's a good thing, right? Usually NASCAR Heat is only wants to throw yellows on the last lap so you don't get to finish your uh, final lap. Whoops. Underneath Busher and Biffle. All right. And we'll take that position and continue our march towards the front. Now, I know Hamlin would have pitted, so Hamlin's the next car I gotta pass as I just drive Newman into turn number four. And we're three wide with uh, Edwards and Truex. A lot of Yodas around here. It's like the Clone Wars. Uh, we got, yep, still Toyotas going underneath me. And, whoops, Michael McDowell is around. Around goes Michael McDowell, but he saves it. So, no yellow, and we continue on. Uh, Carl Edwards is absolutely just destroying the field right now. He's just driving away from everybody, myself included. Uh, that was uh, apron that I did not seem to be running on. And that's way too wide into the corner. So, that was kind of stupid. And we're already quarter of the way through the race. So it's going pretty fast. All clear. Seems to go fast when you when you wreck people constantly and bring out a lot of yellows, I suppose. Still there. I'll be interested to see if strategy starts to come into it. Spin Reagan out. 
I'm just daring the game to throw yellows at this point. And we get a yellow. How about that? So we're going to restart 17th on the inside this time. We gained four positions as four cars came into the pits. Green is out. And we're racing again. I need to get around Edwards on this restart, which I do. Because Edwards is who is on at least a similar pit strategy to me. I think everybody else ahead is um, <clears throat> has not pitted yet. Excuse me. And a little bit of argy bargy with Kurt Busch. And right now on the uh, almost on the apron, a slide job pass didn't work out too well. Now Kurt Busch is coming back on me here. As Casey Kane blocks him. Uh, that was not a very good corner for me. That's two, three, four cars get underneath me. It seems like the inside line is way faster. But I keep spinning out down there. I keep spinning other people out. Well, let's try it anyway. Let's see if we can get underneath Bane, maybe. Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Terrible. Bad idea. There was wall contact as Casey Kane gets uh, some damage. He'll probably be in the pits for an extended period of time. And a yellow. Another yellow. All right. Uh, I guess uh, we need to pit. No, nope, we still got 27 laps of fuel. We're not going to pit. All right, so we're restarting position eight. Still can't seem to get around Edwards. He continues to lead us. Kenseth leads the race. Green is out. And we're racing again. This time we're going to bully Dale Jr. a little bit. Four wide into turn one. And we will come out of it fourth. But Edwards is going to go underneath. And we are three wide spotter. Thanks for that. Thanks, thanks, I appreciate the support. Uh, beer wagon and chase around the outside and inside. Coming everywhere. And gotta be so careful with that apron. I almost tried to drive underneath him on the apron and I remembered you can't do that. You cannot do that. But you can't do it when you do it like that. Underneath Chase Elliott, underneath Jamie McFlurry. And now the beer wagon's back on the inside of me. See if I can get in the line. Yes, I can. Carlo. Try to keep him, uh, keep Kurt Bush out of the inside, and I completely Carlo. failed that venture. Chase Elliott makes his way back through, and then the brakes locked up, it's heading towards the Carlo. outside wall, get run into by Jimmy Johnson. Boy, the inside lane is so much faster around Carlo. this track. And let's see if we can go around the. Yeah, we All make an outside pass, maybe. And we're sticking around side by side with Johnson. And on the brakes, and still side by side with Jimmy. There goes Denny underneath, and we'll block McFlurry. See if we can get underneath off. Ah, uh, I was gonna call him off-season Hamlin there, but uh, yeah, we did it. We did it. And now I block Jimmy Johnson. Very nice. So now we're running on our own. I had to lift because I got too close to the apron. And here comes Denny again, driving on by. Good Lord. And we spun him out. Almost. Oh, nope, we really did. Nope, I guess we didn't. Wow, that's a... Okay. I don't know what's going to happen when we all get in the lap traffic. That's going to be pretty wild. Uh, this time I think I... Well, no, here he comes again. Right on my rear, uh, rear bumper there. Boy, if I could just keep this car on the bottom, I'd be able to keep them behind me. But every time I s slide up the track just a little bit, off they go. And we're driving in real deep. Spin Denny out. That time, I don't think he's going to survive. Up, up. Here comes Jimmy Johnson, the juggernaut, back to the outside. Ugh. There we go. There we go. I actually protected the inside that time, but I swung wide because I had to miss the darn apron. So now we'll just do the same thing we did to Hamlin to Johnson. <laughs> Thank God this doesn't have the Indy 500 evolution uh, system of drivers hating you. Otherwise, everybody would be trying to wreck me at this point. Everybody would hate me. All of the AI. So we're still seventh, but I think we're the first of the cars that haven't made a stop yet. 
or have made a stop, made a pit stop. Easy for me to say. But is is cousin Carl out in front of me? I don't know. Doesn't say that. It says Chase Elliott and Kurt Busch, who I know haven't pitted yet. So who knows? Well, here comes Jamie Mack underneath, side by side with him, and this time he's going to get around. But you guys know what's coming. In a turn three, drive him in there. Bye bye. Just rattle his cage a little bit. That's the excuse. That's the excuse you have to use. We're almost at the midway point of the race already, which is kind of crazy. At least I'm having fun. I'm, go I'm gonna go out on a I'm gonna go out on a high note. I'm gonna go out fighting, regardless of whether I can actually get in the chase or not. I'm gonna go out on a fighting note. As here comes Harvick behind, he tries to go around the outside. Oh, there was the revenge, and there is my payback to him. Au revoir, Monsieur Harvick. And here comes Hamlin down to the inside. And we know what's happening here. Oh, oh, I didn't pull it off. Oh, God, I, I failed in the execution of my move. I failed. I failed everyone. Now, when are these guys, when is everybody else going to come into the pits? That's what I'm wondering about. Probably less than 14 laps. And here comes Harvick again. He's already on the, my uh, hind quarters. Uh, I got on the apron again this time. Thankfully, there were no weird wonky physics spin, 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 spin thingies. Get it down in there. There we go. Protect the bottom. Protect the bottom. Oh, well, I didn't protect anything because the car passed me on the outside and on the inside. But look at this. Boom. I'm just driving into the corner. Boom. He's a terrible John Madden impression. And we'll just block Harvick. And here comes McFlurry. There's some cars in the pits. Oh, I guess I gained positions. I guess this is why the AI are spinning are speeding up because suddenly I'm in uh, fifth place. Oh, here comes McDowell. What is he doing up here? How did Carl get up there? Battle with uh, everybody here. Harvick and McDowell. Again, what is McDowell doing being this fast at Richmond? I'll never understand. Now Marola's going to go underneath as well. All well, clear. McDowell had to come off All into low. the pits. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that's going to be the first time I get into the wall this race. And three cars going All underneath low. me. Four cars going underneath me. We're now seventh place. All clear. Wow, this is kind of a kind of crazy racing. If I do say so myself. Oops. Sorry, Kyle. Had to do it. Had to do it. Right up, scraping the wall. Blocking Ryan Newman. On the brakes. Get that thing turned. There we go. Oh, and here comes the Joey Logano. Couldn't block him. Couldn't block any of these guys. Ah. I couldn't block a Lego right now. Did I lose two or one or two positions? I think I only lost two. I think Lugano's actually a lap down right now. So that's fine. And we killed the commitment cone. Here comes Kenseth, who I think just came out of the pits. Maybe. Yeah, he's in 27th. Doesn't mean I can't run into him, though. I'll use him as a break. That's fine. It's all good. Heck, we may only have to pit one more time to the uh, fuel mileage we're making right now. Still running in seventh, all good. Oh, here comes, ooh, Larson, I had to block him in the back. That'll be a 15 yard penalty. Oh, I'm still staying ahead of him. Now lap traffic is coming into the, the play here. I almost said the fray, but that didn't make any sense. Ooh, had to get the thing turned. Get turned, buddy. Still seven laps on the fuel. I could also probably just do right side tires on this pit stop. That'd be kind of great. Oh, and I just gained sixth place for just a split second, and then I lost it again. Uh, that's a slide. It's a slide and a half. I'm still losing positions. 
Trevor Bain makes a pass on me. But guess what, Trevor? You weren't expecting that, were you? Oh, De Benedetto with the speed. With all that speed. Where did that come from? Is that what his go fast racing car is going to look like next year? Just going right around everybody? Oh, I've got to block everybody. This is why we need good finishes, because I need to make this make some cash to be able to actually afford engines to keep up with these guys. Because it's like the corners, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm pulling away. It's easy. But uh, in, in the acceleration and off the corners, it ain't working. So there goes it's just the whole field by, but we only fell to 11th. And now, boom. Running to the back end of every small team in NASCAR there. And can we get underneath all these guys? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. May have been a slight mix miscalculation. Good lord, we are three wide with everybody here. Whole field. Hold your line. Nope. All clear. That did not work. Four wide. And Chase Elliott wisely backs out of it. Now we're messing with the Kappa car. Kappa, 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 Kappa. Oh, uh, uh. Clear high. Call that was a thing. Did we actually lose any positions doing that? Yeah, we lost one because of Landon Castle. And back underneath. Oh, we spun Chase Elliott, kind of. Okay, so we, we're back to 11th. Stay low. Still there. Back to 11th. With just 36 laps to go. Still don't need to make a pit stop yet. But once I do, I think it'll be the last time I need to make a pit stop. That was close. That was very close there with Bobby Labonte. And that was three wide. Glad I didn't get wrecked. And here comes Casey Kane. Is this for position? I'll never know. Whoops. Oh, I thought I spun Landon Castle there. Oop, I did put Bobby Labonte in the wall. Yeah, that was for position with Kane. Retired Scott? No? Okay. I don't know what the damage is like. Nope, no bad damage? Okay. I guess I need to pit. Two laps until I need to pit. Figure I'll pit now. And forever hold my peace. Okay, let them all go. Whatever. And on the brakes. That was wrong. That was not what I wanted to do. Why did the car go? Why does the car go to the outside when you spin out? That's very annoying. All right, into the pits. All right, let's see where we end up to finish this thing. My war-torn machine is in the pits, getting ready here. The pit crew going to work. Right sides, two cans of fuel. Almost looks like they're lagging. I don't know what's going on, but 11-second pit stop, and we're back out onto the track. And we're in the top 35. Woohoo! Top 35 in owner's points. But I think a lot of cars will also be pitting after this. And I think the catch-up is on, so that's good. So now we get to act OP here for a few minutes. While the, uh, while the AI decide to rubber band. Yeah, look how slow... Oh, God. I do hate this part of NASCAR. All clear. This, again, All clear. I have to complain about this every time. I made a green flag pit stops, guys. I had to do it. So why are you slowing down for me? It's ridiculous. As, I so as soon as I get up to a position where the game decides, oh, he should be here, it's going to speed him back up. Silly. Very silly. Two laps behind the race. And just got to run the outside lane because the AI are driving at 90 miles an hour with a speed limiter on uh, around until uh, they determine that uh, I'm in the, my rightful place. So 29th, I guess that's still not my rightful place because they're still kind of going slow. And around the outside of everybody, this is fun. This is this is like a race, a real race. This is why you can't even run. This is why it's hard to run long races in career mode in this game, because it's not a race. It's not a race unless the uh, 
the yellow comes out a lot and keeps the field bunched up because then the AI just slow down for you constantly. Oh well, you know, if it if it just lets me win, you know, then I could get in the chase. And that would be fun. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Still there. All clear. What I really need to do, I should just stay two laps down and just push the leader, like bump draft the leader. <laughs> all the way around the track. That'd be hilarious. Well, there's Clint Boyer and Casey Kane. I'm pretty sure those are the two people who were uh why is my engine oh my engine's probably damaged because of the stupid crash earlier. Yeah, the temperature is up on my engine. Oh well, I gotta blow it up I guess. And the inside of Reagan, inside of Bane, I'm a dingers for a position. Probably not uh, Ryan Scott, a retired Scott. No, he's definitely not. Oop, that's what we call a little, little bit of uh, turning assistance there. Oh, the AI have sped up again. I guess I'm back on the lead lap. And, but they All weren't clear. expecting that, were they? They weren't expecting that. Yep, I'm definitely back on the lead lap. 22 seconds behind the lead lap. Or off the lead lap, but that's where I am. That is so stupid. <laughs> we'll slow the AI down for you if you legitimately lose a lap. And they immediately speed up. That is so frustrating. And a yellow. And I did it, staying on the lead lap. Actually, that's really advantageous. So I'm going to pit, get some repairs, and try to actually make a run at this thing. All right, let's get it. We're restarting 16th. Four tires. I put a little bit of fuel in it just to the safety aspect. Green is out. And the repairs, of course. So I can start ramrodding everybody here in turn number one. As we go back to the restart, and we run into a train of Toyotas that is like the uh, unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. Let's see if we can slide down the inside of a lot of cars here. Boom! That was realistic. But we uh, made up some places doing that. Ryan Newman to the outside. And get into chase. And they reckon at least uh, broke up the field a little bit, so I'm able to do this again. Tally ho! Tally ho, AJ Allmendinger! I would be kicked out of NASCAR so fast if I did this in real life. Oh well. And a yellow, so I get another shot at a restart. Uh, I don't know how many laps to go there are, but we're not going to pit. We're just going to go for it. All right, P5 on this restart. How many laps do we have to go? I'm waiting for that information. Still don't have it. Green is out. Nine to go. And we're back to racing. Trying to get into the chase. Can I bowling pin my way to the front or bowling ball my way to the front? The other cars are the pins. Logano still leads. But I can at least block the rest of the field. At least for a split second. And I crashed. I crashed. So can we get a yellow? Can we get a yellow? No. Oh, that was crap. Well, oh well. There goes my chase hopes. Now we just gotta go get some money. Oh, well, that was stupid. And I got a yellow at least, so I get to pit and try to make it up. And you may be noticing that there's a bit of a glitch going on. My car is continuously trying to start up. Oh, and it's gone. So I need to be 15th for money. I don't think I will win this. I sure as heck can spin out a lot of cars. Okay, there's P15. Just got a block Dibby there. And into the corner. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> that is how it's done. Okay, white is out. That means we may get a finish under the yellow. Oh, I spun out Brad. 
That would be a great time for a yellow. Finish the race. No? Okay. Well, I'm not going to get in the chase. But I am going to make some money. Checker is out. That was a really close finish for 10th, by the way. So, there it is. Joey Logano wins the final chance to get in the chase. Was not meant to be, I guess, for this season. We'll have to hit it hard next season, but we still got 10 races to go. And I'm sure a lot of people will want to see the points. But first, let's take a look at the moolah we got from this uh, wild race here at Richmond. 28 grand, uh, 15 or 12,000 from CJ, and we got 10 grand from Snap Fitness. We did not get CSX money from uh, leading a lap because we didn't, unfortunately, lead a lap. However, we take home uh, 51,000, and that should be enough to uh, make some uh, more upgrades to the car. I think I can't remember exactly, but uh, let's take a look at the points. Uh, we should have moved up in the standings potentially just a little bit here. Nope, we stayed in 30th. Oh well, we maintained 30th in the points, whatever. Now we're just gonna, you know, try to win out here at the end of the season and uh, try to uh, get some uh, some higher points than 30th. So let's head back to the, uh, the garage and see if there's anything else to take a look at. So from Richmond, we're gonna move on to chase race number one at Chicagoland. The winner is gonna take home $43,000. Uh, let's take a look at the chase grid since uh, that's a new menu. So here you go. Here are the folks who are going to be racing for the championship. Logano, Edwards, Hamlin, Harvick, Johnson, Bush, Bush, Kenseth, Al Elliott, Almendinger, Greg Biffle, Clint Boyer, Earnhardt, McMurray, and Newman and Stewart. So there you go. There's your round of 16. We're going to find out what's going to happen uh, in the next coming 10 races. So... Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So there you go. There's some menus that we're going to be taking a look at later on. Wish I would have made it, but oh well. Uh, hope to see you guys at Chase Race 1. Let's find out what happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next video.